handcuffs. Now, in 2020, the state legislature put forward $3.5 million for Caitlin's courage in remembrance of Caitlin Whitehurst, who was killed by her boyfriend in Greenville two years ago. Now, between the crime and trial, domestic violence suspects may be ordered to wear the tracking device once out on bond. The victims can opt into having one, too. Now, if suspects get within three miles to 300 feet of the victim, the victim will get an alert. The victim's home and workplace are off limits to suspects at all times. The closer someone gets, the more likely police will be dispatched. Guilford Family Justice Center Director Katherine Johnson says this is critical as domestic violence cases have skyrocketed in the triad. We really see Caitlin's courage as an opportunity to help put some accountability on that offender, to give victims more space to make decisions about what they want, where they're going, what they want to do, and protect themselves. So it's a great tool to go hand in hand with a safety plan.